Hello everyone. As promised, I'm going to make a mini let's play of this particular game, Project Zomboid. If you are not familiar with the game, all you need to know right now is that uh, this is a very complex and very detailed survival game in the zombie apocalypse. Basically, think of how Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld compare to each other. If you don't know Dwarf Fortress, it is one of the most complex games ever made. It is so detailed that if you, basically you can burn uh, skins of individual fingers and things like that. So it goes into details extremely well. And RimWorld is basically took the same idea of that game and distilled its essence into a more simple, more approachable version of that idea. This game the project Zomboid we are going to play today is basically the same idea, only its inspiration comes from a, another different game called Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, a game similar to Dwarf Fortress in complexity and detail. In Project Zomboid, you play as the last survivor of the zombie apocalypse, and your only job is to survive as long as you can. There will be no rescue, there will be no escape and you will die, that is a given. So it's just a matter of seeing how long you can survive. Uh, I'm going to use the latest test version, 41.56. So because of this, there is no multiplayer in the game just now. If you want to play with others, you need to use the previous version, build 40. That one has more multiplayer. The devs are working hard trying to bring multiplayer into this version as well, but they added so many new, new features that it's quite an undertaking. It's really hard to make the old netcode work in this new version. And those are the, the those new features are the reason why I'm playing this version. Basically, if you check out any other Let's Plays on YouTube right now, all of them are going to be using Build 41. When we Try to start the game, you will notice a lot of different options here. The play styles on the top are basically your difficulty settings. Apocalypse is the hard mode, survivor is the medium mode, and builder is the easy mode. We are going to use the custom sandbox. Under challenges, you can find different scenarios that can make the game a bit more interesting. One has perpetual, uh, perpetual winter, the other is forever shrouded in fog. Another is always raining. And the first one is uh, inspired by the game's own inspiration, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, also known as CDDA. Uh, in this, you start injured, you are bleeding, you are drunk, you have a nasty cold. And of course, your heart is on fire just to uh, make things more interesting. So, as I said, we are going to use Custom Sandbox. Here you can select different starting locations. All you need to know right now is that these are not separate maps. The game is set in the mid-1990s Kentucky and around the area surrounding West Point, basically, just south of Louisville. The entire game world is uh, interconnected, so even if you start out in, for example, Rosewood, you can still hop in a car and drive yourself to anywhere you want. Let's see, I think we are going to start in Modra, the first one. I believe that was the original town that the, first, the game first introduced. And here we have the sandbox options. Here you can change a ton of aspects of how the world operates and more importantly, how zombies behave. I'm not going to go over every single, what every single option does only what I changed from the default for this series. So let me save, uh, load the one I pre-prepared. I changed the day length from one hour to two hours. This is just so I can make longer episodes, basically. The start month is usually July. I like to start with a more comfortable May. Uh, in the world options, I changed a couple of things. First of all, I changed how long until the utilities are getting shut off. Originally, they are randomly shut off in the first 30 days, I believe, but I gave myself a bit more 
room so by setting it to two months we can still get extremely unlucky and have it all shut off in the first day but there's a chance we can last more than one month as well so it's totally random but we have a bit more chance to last a little bit longer i also changed the darkness during the night option to bright this is more for your sake guys uh, it can get really really dark at night and youtube does not play well with dark videos so if you get stranded outside at night it's going to be a bit more visible for you nothing changed for a while okay the next thing that changed is the weapon multi hit option this is just my preferred play style basically some of the bigger weapons are able to hit more than one enemy zombies at a time with this option enabled. Without it, every weapon can only hit one enemy at a time. It only applies to basically big weapons like uh, axes and big pipes, things like that. If it's a small thing like a small hammer, you can only hit one enemy still. So it's not, not every, every weapon. In the zombie lore, I changed the transmissibility of the zombie virus to saliva only. We will only get infected if they bite us. Uh, by default, there is a small chance we can get infected by scratches or lacerations as well. And this the setup I have right now, I feel it's a bit more purist in terms of zombie lore. Uh, I also lowered the amount of time for the zombie virus to kill us if we get bit bitten. A quick 0 to 12 hours death rate is more in line with the traditional progression of the zombie plague, I believe. What we see in movies. This is where I fine-tuned the zombie population for our playthrough. Uh, by default, the population start multiplier would be 1, but I set it to 0 0.75. In the beginning, this means that the z uh, zombie population is going to be lower than usual. But over the next 60 days, it will slowly climb to double the normal amount so think of it like this at the start if we had a 100 zombies in a general area by default we will only have 75 but over 60 days that number will slowly climb and reach a peak of 200 zombies in that area by that time so yeah it we start out easy but it will get really hairy over time to compensate i changed the size of the zombie groups as well by default they can form hordes of 20s but let's be reasonable just make it 10 that's still a lot and it, all of them coming at us is still going to be run for us now let's create our character okay i'm not going to go over every single one of these traits you can see here there's just way too much and the video would be like three hours long if i went over every sandbox option and talked about every trait I'm just going to tell you about the ones I chose. So, we are playing as a repairman. Uh, that gives us plus one in carpentry, plus two in maintenance, and plus one for short blunt weapons. Like, uh, you know, small hammers, pipes, wrenches, things like that. As for our traits, I chose High Thirst. That's a one of the community favorites. We just have to drink a little bit more often overweight so we are a bit more sluggish at the start but if we watch our calorie intake we can lose it relatively fast over the first couple of weeks slow healer so if we get injured our wounds will take longer to heal prone to illness uh, means we are more likely to catch a cold for example and if we happen to get bitten we are going to turn into a zombie faster as last negative trait is smoker it's another easy to circumvent negative trait. We just need to smoke a cigarette every now and then, or the character will get anxious. As for the positive traits, I chose dexterous, so we can move items between containers a little bit faster. Fast reader, so if we have to read a book, it will take a bit less time, so we can concentrate on doing some more interesting stuff. Outdoorsman is so we are less bothered by the elements, and we are pretty much immune to catching a cold, for example. Inconspicuous is so zombies are less likely to see us. Keen hearing. Now, this is a very useful trait for watching our back. Basically, there is a cone of sight in the game. Where you look, that's what you see. And there's also a little bit of an awareness circle around our back as well. So this trait extends that the range of that circle. So we will have a bit more warning if one of them tries to sneak up on us while we don't pay attention to our back. 
And lastly, organized so we just can fit more items into containers. Before we move on, I just want to bring your attention to these percentage numbers. This is an XP boost. Since we are naturally gifted with these uh, skills, we have a bit of an affinity for them. We will earn XP points for them a little bit faster. And lastly, we can select the name and appearance of our character. Instead of going with a random character like this, uh, I have one saved already. His name, Tom Scott, famous YouTuber. I really like his stuff. I just made sure that none of his clothes are give any, any kind of protection for us. T-shirt give no protection. Jeans gives a little bit. Let's change it to pants and maybe dark blue. Socks, no protection. Sneakers give no protective protection. If we want clothes that protect us, we will have to make sure we find them. With that out of the way, let's start. Okay, let's see. First thing I recommend you guys do every time you start the game, go find a TV, turn it on, lower the volume, and tune it to the Life and Living TV channel. This will re uh, result in you watching an educational TV show. As you can see, our cooking skill is going up. Basically, in the first week of the game, you can catch these TV shows on this channel and you can learn a little bit of extra skills by this. It's usually carpentry or cooking or maybe fishing, foraging, things like that, that is going to be useful for survival. Also, this, this book seems to have some tapes we can watch later okay the show's over we can turn it off thank you okay let's take a look around the house usually the first house has no zombies so we can safely walk around but as soon as you leave you want to be free for all Okay, the kettle we can use to store some water. Oh, very lucky. We can have uh, cigarettes already. Okay, we need the can opener as well. Let's take... Can we put them... No. Ah, we don't really need... Okay, let's take the pie slice. And that's it. We can fill the the kettle. Yeah. Right here. And let's take the curtains with us. If you take the, the curtains, it turns them into sheets. And we can use the sheets to cover the windows in a, our eventual uh, safe house. Lastly, let's take a look upstairs. Maybe we can find the bag, but I can't do that. We have a CD we can listen to later. Okay. We have some vitamins. Tweezer is good for removing glasses from your wounds. If you happen to have some glass, you step in some glass, for example. Okay, let's take the curtain. Put another CD and since we don't need. We can take this as well. I 
think I'm going to uh, rip one of these sheets up. And that will give us some ripped sheets. That's basically a makeshift bandage. Until we find proper bandages, we can bandage ourselves. Bandage ourselves up if we get uh, wounded. Okay, nothing in the washing machine. So we can leave. Just make sure that you don't run unless you really have to. If you run around, you're going to get tired really fast. Okay, here's the first zombie. If you press space, you push them down. And if you stand on their chest, they will not be able to get up. Just stomp on their head. And he's dead. Okay, we have a jeans that will give us a bit more protection. And the denim shirt as well. That's very nice. Uh, we can grab his watch. It will only tell us the time. Digital watches can also give us the temperature, the date. I think I saw someone. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, he has some weapons and some ammo as well. Just so you know, you do not want to use weapons unless you really, really know what you're doing. They are extremely loud and they are going to attract a lot of attention. And you don't want that. Okay, let's keep going. We have two of them here. This one saw us. Uh, I think it's best if you try to not kill zombies on the roads. If you find a car. Uh, thank you. The, the, the tires can get damaged if you drive over too many of the zombies. So if you don't kill them on the roads, it's not going to be a problem. Also, if you press C and crouch, and then press Q, you can kind of whisper to the zombies. If you're standing up, you are going to shout, and that's much louder. Okay. Let's see. Our current jeans, oh, it's good. But shoes, that's better protection than the sneakers. Thank you. Let's take out this guy. Oh, he's not alone. One of them saw us. It's best if we let her come to us. So we don't alert the other ones. Push him, push her down, and that's it. Sweater is a little bit more protection, that's nice. That's it from her. Okay, this one saw us, and this one saw us too. Let's make them into a line, so they don't reach us at the same time. Okay, first one down. Thank you. Let's see. Nothing in. Oh, there's a jacket. And it's in good condition as well. Oh, let's wear it. Give us some extra protection. Nothing in the mailbox. Let's check the house. Doors closed. 
if the door is closed, you can try to open one of the windows. But be careful, you can break the lock as well. Okay, we got lucky. Let's see. I mean, the plunger is not a, exact, uh, the best weapon, but better than nothing. You can hear some banging. I think we are not alone. Yeah, someone's upstairs. When you enter an area, always make sure that you, you are at the ready. Take the cigarettes. Here's the husky. It's nice. There's more of them. Fine. There's still more. What the hell? Okay, someone's downstairs. They broke the window. Thank you, that was fast. And we have the digital watch. And now we have the temperature and the date as well. You can drop the old one, which is... Oh, we're still wearing it. Okay. I can still hear some kind of banging somewhere. Oh, yeah. There you are. Thank you. Let's take the sheets. What we really need is some kind of bag. We are getting a bit overloaded. Rule driver is nice. Okay, let's sneak about. Nobody has a bag over there. Two of them saw us. Let's kite them away. Okay. Let's take out these two. She seemed to have uh, scissors, maybe, stuck in her. Scissors. Let's take it. Nothing on her. Another scissor. Very nice. Okay. Let's check the shed as well. Okay. We have a hammer. That's very nice. That's a small blunt weapon. So. Exactly what we want to use. Let's. Put away the plunger. 
the wrenches as well. A small blunt weapon, so good for us. Another two hammers. It for now. Okay, we need to find some place to call home because we are getting really overloaded. I think the doctor's office should be at the end of this street. There's a big group over there, so we are going to use the main street. I will try to set up in the doctor's office. These guys seem to have a hoodie or no, that's just gray hair. But he still has a sweater, so maybe that's better for us. Thank you. That's it. And nothing for us. Two of them there. And a pretty group, big group over there. And the medical office is just around the corner. Let's go through these guys. Yeah, one saw us. Go back, let him come to us. Let's take a look around. That's it. Okay, we are getting tired, so let's take a sit down. Oh. That's not optimal. Let's try to. That's it. Come, come, come. Okay. We really have to sit down for a second. Just have to keep an eye on the general area. Okay, we are getting anxious, so we need to take a smoke, which is right here, uh, but we need, we need some kind of a lighter or matches, which we don't have right now. Let's try to sneak past these guys. He saw us. Nobody around us. Pushing down. Finally. Nothing of use on him. There's a doctor's office. Okay, that guy saw us. Let her come to us. Push her down. And stamp. We are extremely tired, so... It's going to take a while. Let's check inside. Nobody home. We are going to 
uh, sit on the ground and rest for a second. Let's close the window as well. I mean the curtains. After we are rested, we can go. Yeah, let's clear out the doctor's office. Okay. Single two of them at the, of the at the our new home. That's it. I stand on him. Take out this one. Okay. Let's get inside and drop everything we don't need to carry right now. Okay, it's closed. No alarm. Very good. Let's close the window. Put sheet on the window and close it. Let's add sheet to the door. Let's uh, close the curtain. Add another sheet. Close it. Okay. And we can start dropping our stuff. Okay. We don't have a lighter yet. Drop, drop, drop. Drop. We can drop these, these, and these. Okay, let's go upstairs and see. Maybe we can find the lighter or, or matches. Okay, I can hear someone. Yeah. Close the wind, the, the curtains. Let's take the house key as well. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. You can see the door wiggling as he's banging on it. Thank you. That's it. Another house key. Okay, I can't hear anyone else. That's good. Let's close the window. Ah, still no bags. Okay, upstairs it's covered. Let's check downstairs, cover every window we can. Okay, the office is clear. The exa examination room is clear. Storage room is clear. Let's close this window. That's done. Waiting room is clear. That's the sheets on the windows. I want to change the uh, these sheets to proper curtains later, but for now, this will do. And nobody in the bathroom. Okay. Let's uh, clear the general area around the doctor's office. Yeah, nobody that way. Let's take out these guys. Whisper, so, yep. All of them heard us. Let's take them one by one. If it's a single zombie, just push them until they go down and then stomp on their heads. If it's more than one, then you can start using the weapons. What we really need right now is something to light the cigarettes with. Nothing on him. Let's keep looking. Uh, 
There's three guys up here. They saw us. That's nice. That's it for these guys. And they did not have anything I need. Neither did he. Nobody in this alleyway. Now there's one guy sitting there. He doesn't hurt anyone. Oh, there's one more here. Just she just got up. Thank you. I always like it when they go down for the first push. Okay, come at me. Okay, let's change to the wrench. That's a multi-hit weapon, I believe. Get up, please. Ugh. Always so risky to take out more than one. Let's take out the hammer again. What is this ahead? Very. Huh. Might as well. Just cosmetic. Go down, please. Thank you. And that's it. Jacket we already have. I mean, let's see. Jacket, uh, same, same condition. Let's check the car. It's open. There is no key in the ignition. And okay, there's no key in it. Let's take the candy cane. That's kind of food. Okay, let's check the trunk. It's empty. There's another car here. Okay, nobody back there. The trunk is closed. Left door closed. Right door closed as well. Uh, no, it doesn't not, doesn't work it. Let's keep looking for a lighter. Okay, the back room is uh, the back door is closed. I mean locked. This one's locked too. So the best we can do is break the window. Do not climb in right away. Always remove the broken glass. You climb in, it's a very good chance you're going to cut yourself. Okay, garbage bag is very useful. You can make rain catchers with them. Let's take all the fresh produce. We can put it in the fridge. Ooh, five bags of chips, that's very nice. Mustard is good for making salads. Ah, let's take everything. Mac and cheese, very nice. You can turn these into water bottles and orange sodas. I don't want yeast. And this one, oh yes. Lots of canned, canned food. Okay. More orange soda. One more, more water bottle. Let's check the back room. 
Okay, nobody home. Let's take the garbage bag. And let's take the canned goods. Oh yeah. And let's take these guys. Okay, let's take everything home because we are getting really overloaded. The back alley is still clear. I'm going to pick up everything from downstairs and take it upstairs. Let's loot everything. Get upstairs. After I put down everything, I'm going to mo move these corpses outside. If you spend too much time around corpses, you can get sick. Okay, let's put the fresh foods in the fridge. And onions. No. Ah. This one, this one. Tomatoes. Okay. The canned foods don't need refrigeration. They can last forever, basically. I can put them in the cupboard. That's it. Yes, we have one more cabbage. Okay, let's put everything else we don't need right now in the cupboard. Yes, all these. And let's keep one water bottle on us. Okay, let's keep looking for a bag. Uh, first, let's turn this on. Let's lower the volume and let's change it to the life and living. In case we catch it by accident. Oh yeah, before I forget. Let's take these guys outside. And let's take the other doctor as well. Grab her. Drop her and let's go back inside to take a rest. Unfortunately, there is no animation to sit on chairs or sofas or anything. So for now, you need to take a rest sitting on the floor. There are mods for sitting on stuff, but in vanilla, there is nothing you can do. Okay, we are rested. I mean, uh, let's wash ourselves as well. If you are very dirty, you can catch something. Let's wash the clothes. That's it. Let's keep looking for a bag. There's two more zombies here. Let's take them out. That's nice. Okay, hoodie we can put on and wear it hood up. That will give us a bit of protection for our head and neck. Let's put these guys down. Okay, nothing else of value. Okay, that's it. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, by the way, if you overburden yourself, then you can lose health. So try not to put too much weight in your, in your inventory. 
Let's check this house. Oh, someone's been here. I'll always remove broken glass. You really don't want to cut yourself. Can hear up. Oh, wow. Okay. Climb in. Thank you. Oh, pa, pa, pa. That's a bit more than I want. Thank you and goodbye. Wow, they broke us pretty fast. Are they coming? No, I think we lost. No, they're coming. Okay, let's take them out. Let's use the wrench. That's a multi hit weapon. Very useful. Thank you. And nothing on them. There was one more guy I want to take out then. He did. Oh, there he is. Come, come, come. That's it. Nothing more on him. Let's remove the broken glass. Let's climb back inside. And let's keep looking. Okay, nothing there. Everything's empty. Hmm. And it won't go away, so we don't really need to take them right now. Let's remove the broken glass. In case we have to run outside and we have to use the window, it's better to not have the glasses on them. Okay, we are going into unknown territory, so let's keep the weapon at the ready by holding right click or control. Empty, let's turn off the light. Uh, yeah, that's the cologne we don't need. Okay, this house is completely empty. It's a good thing we are hungry because, you know, I ch uh, we are started with the uh, overweight trait. So if we starve ourselves a little bit, the weight will go down. One. And... Nothing we need. She's some, someone's inside. Let's let her out. You don't want to be caught by them, you know, doing that lunge as they come out the window. They can take you off your feet. And that's not exactly the best, best thing to do. Thank you. Let's keep looking around. We don't want to get surprised from the from the back. Leather jacket, very nice. Uh, it's bad condition, but we can uh, break it down into leather strips for tailoring later. Now, this is very nice. Can drop the jacket. Okay.
Oh, we have to break the window. And remove the broken glass. Now we can go inside. Okay, let's see. Metal bar, metal pipe, that those count as small blunt weapons, so that's very good for us. So, oh yes, yes please. Lots of nails. And the screwdriver. Very nice. The saw, we can saw the pieces of wood into planks. If someone's banging on the front door. Oh, there's two more. Again, I turned off the respawn for the zombies, so we can clear the area properly. Oh, uh, turned into a crawler. Okay, let's see what they have. Nothing. There's another leather jacket. Good for leather strips. And nothing more. Oh, he's bringing Benny from the outside. That's good. We can take him out. Let's push him down and kill him. Yeah, someone's still banging, banging on one of the doors. Let's remove the broken glass. Let's see who's making all that noise. Ooh, crowbar, very nice. Let's put it on our back. Oh, there's someone. Okay, whoever is making that noise is upstairs. Anybody else? No. Okay, let's take care of this guy, or girl, or whoever. Distracted. Oh. oh sh That's not good. <laughs> we got scratched. So we can quickly bandage ourselves. Please, please. Ah, there is no no uh, disinfectant anywhere. But we have the house key. Now we just have to really hope that we don't get infected. Where is this banging coming from? Oh, here. Okay, this guy has a hard hat. That's good. And nothing else. This one had just a adhesive bandage we don't really need. Let's take the ice cream. We have enough water bottles. Okay, nothing else of use. Let's see. sewing kit as well that's good finally some kind of bag not the best but better than nothing basically bags can lower the amount of weight certain things weigh if you use them properly so for example this bag 
if you carry it in your hand, the weight inside is going to be lower. Or if it if it, it would be a backpack, you put it you put it on your back, that would lower the amount of weight that the things have inside. Okay. Let's check the doctor's office, maybe we can find some disinfectants. But it's getting late, so we should be going to bed soon. Just go down, thank you. Leather jacket, yes please. Nothing else of use. Let's drop everything and then take a look around. Okay, so this one, this one goes in here. The bag goes as well. We are going to take out the cooking pots. They can hold a lot of water, so in case the water gets shut off, it's good to have some extra stored away in containers. And we can place them on the countertop. Uh, yep, that make it look nice. Okay, let's see. Nothing in here, maybe downstairs in the stockroom. Or here. Oh, well, let's take it upstairs. Every, let's take everything upstairs. Okay, alcohol wipes. Very good. Just in time for it to get dirty. That's the same fact. And bandage. Okay, let's take everything we can. Well, let's consolidate everything we own upstairs. Uh, let's wash the bandage. So we can reuse it. Okay, let's put these guys away. Um, let's put two of the alcohols, alcohol wipes away. These, this, 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 and the scarpel. Okay, that's it for now. Ah, take a rest. It's really not good that we don't have a lighter. We really, really need to smoke. Ah, let me check the last one last time in one of the neighboring houses. If I don't find something, just I'll just go to bed. Let's check this. Garbage bag, that's good. Okay. There's someone outside. Let's take the cereal. There's two of them at least. Let's let them in. Okay. Uh, 
that's it. Let's close the window. And let's close the curtains and let's keep looking for stuff. Trapping for beginners, that's good. Okay. House key, that's very good. I think this is empty. Let's close the curtains. Nothing here. And some baseball cap we don't need. Let's close the curtain. Let's see. Matches finally. We have smokes at home, so we can smoke. We have some food, some ice cream. Mm. One more matches finally. I'm sure I've missed a few, but now I was looking for it specifically. Uh, let's take the needle. Let's change our bandage. We are still bleeding. Let's wash it and put it back on. That's it. Okay, now we have what we need. Let's go home. Let's take a look around. Okay, we seem to be alone for now. Let's take a peek behind the house. Okay. The coast seemed to be clear. Okay, let's smoke. Alright. Let's smoke one. Oh, finally, anxiety is going to go away. And let's change the jacket because this one got start torn up. Leather jacket, yes please. Where? This one can go. Um, yeah, this one can go here. Let's put everything we can away. Let's put the on here um yeah put the ice cream in the freezer everything else we don't need we can put away i'm going to sort it out tomorrow so let's combine these matches and put away the bigger the cool one And I believe that's it for today. Let me just go to sleep. Let's turn off the light. Doesn't matter, but why not? Uh, let's see. Jeans are okay. Denim shirt is completely torn up. Hoodie is torn up. Shoes are in bad con pretty bad condition. T-shirt is completely in the belly, I think. Yep. We need to change most of our uh, upper body clothes. Let's wait for the bandage to get dirty, and after that we can go to sleep. Let's sit. Oh. Let's sit in front of the TV, just in case. It's a rest. Uh, 
Ah, might as well go to sleep. Let's just change the bandage. Okay. Now we don't bleed anymore. I just put an adhesive bandage on it because we are not bleeding. And let's go to sleep. Yep. And it's now morning. And since it's a new day, I'm going to make a cut in this episode right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this first episode. It took me at least three t tries to record this, as I, I was happy with it. So thank you for bearing with me. If you liked the episode, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want me to make more of them. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.